I met Tim Fiddler at the Pacific Northwest Aviation Convention a few years ago. We talked about airplanes. And then I met him last fall at Jefferson County Airport. He was in his 185 and I was in my Cessna 182. We talked about doing a video of his Cessna 185. I went to Costa Rica for the winter and when I came back this summer, we met and I flew the 185 on float. Prior to this flight, I only have one hour of float plane and it was like seven years ago in a Piper Super Cup out of Cambor Air. So I was wondering how will I do? And this airplane was so great that I think I did well. So here we are in Kitsap Lake in Washington. It's surrounded by houses, beautiful lake. We are with Tim Fiddler and we're going to go fly this special Cessna 185. It is a very special airplane and Tim is going to tell us about this. Thank you. Hey, good morning, Larry. Uh, so this is a A185F. In fact, it's the first A185F that was produced by Cessna. It was a prototype. So it has a couple unique things. For instance, it has a 28 volt uh, electrical system by STC from Cessna. While the 28 volt system didn't come out for a number of years later. It's registered in the US as 98 Juliet Bravo. Um, as a paying homage to its history. Recently before we bought it, it was used to create the 25th movie in a long running British secret agent uh, movie franchise. And uh, I'm sure you'll see it this fall when it finally comes out. In that movie, uh, it was a polished aircraft on Edo 2790 floats. Uh, the movie company then brought it back to the US and painted it. We went to an IO-550 with a P-Punk STC. We already had put an MT prop on it and uh, we just moved the prop over from the 520 to the 550. Um, uh, that's a special MT prop, correct? Yeah, the boys wanted reversing. Okay, we'll see it in action, that'll be cool. Yeah, um, the two ma major upgrades that are really uh, dramatic on this aircraft, on the firewall forward, uh, we did do an Airwolf remote oil filter because they're a real pain to change the oil on a 185. But the two major upgrades are the, the reversing MT prop. Uh, we'll talk a lot about that. And, uh, and the Surefly Electronic EMAG. Uh, the EMAG uh, really, really allows Lena Peak uh, operations and really easy starting, which for a fuel injected engine on uh, floats, uh, you know, starting as you push away from the dock uh, is, is an important thing. Okay. So, We'll talk a little bit more, but that's pretty much the airplane. Okay, great. Looking forward to the flight. When you shut the engine down, as the RPM decreases, two pins come in and lock it in this flat pitch position. So it's locked, and these, these pins have a lock like this. Okay. So to get out of reverse, you have to hit the reverse. This? Y yes. Backwards. And re then release it. Okay. And then... Engine start. Time to go flying. The reversing function of the propeller felt amazing. It feels very strange to go backwards on an airplane and to have reverse on an airplane, especially. Reversing for a float plane is big. It becomes a boat. You can park anywhere and you're not worried about the difficulty of taking the airplane out again. The operation of the reverse was pretty simple and easy to use. It also has some safety features that Terry will explain to me before we take off. Safety switch in here. There's a, a safety switch, I believe it's set at 40 knots. So you cannot reverse in flight. And that's just, if you were to reverse in flight, you would like the tail and you would just so anyway, so there are multiple safeties. You have to have this on, you have to be below 40 knots indicated, and you have to work that switch. So that's so those are the multiple safeties into into the problem, which is kind of nice to look at that.
the performance of that IO550 was amazing. Especially with the electronic ignition, the first thing you notice is how smooth this engine is. This is the smoothest airplane I have ever flown. We did some flying around the Puget Sound area of Seattle. The 185 feels heavier on the controls than the 182 or the 170, but still is very responsive. The rudder pedals feels also heavier. Apart from that, the performance is just amazing. It's pretty smooth and has lots of power. This plane is so powerful and smooth that in the air I forgot it had floats. I could not feel them when maneuvering the airplane. This airplane has full autopilot and Garmin glass cockpit. I think the combination of the IO I-50, the electronic ignition, and the empty propeller make the engine very smooth. I extended the flight as much as possible because I was having a lot of fun, but it was time to go back. So my last landing on the water was seven years ago, and I was going to try it again. Let's see how it goes. Terry pointed me to a gap between the trees for the final into the lake. I like these kind of approaches. Like full flaps and some power for the landing. We did some step taxi back to the house where we started. Getting back to the dock, I am using the reversible propeller as a brake to do the docking. Sweet airplane, amazing. <laughs> I'm impressed with how smooth it is. Yeah, very nice. Make you want a seaplane, Larry? Oh yes, I want. <laughs> I, want a, I want this one. <laughs> Amazing airplane. Well, uh, how do you do, Terry? He did okay. Did, that was, did you see that landing? Yeah, that was outstanding. I tried to get it in frame, but it's, uh, I'm not the best videographer, no, okay. so who knows? No, he flew really well. And I couldn't get him to come back, though. He was having so much fun. He just wanted to keep going. <laughs> I would keep going, yeah. <laughs> he just kept wanting, wanted to keep going. This is what the aircraft prop looks like on the stop locks when the basically zero thrust. One of the features of the reversing prop is if you shut it down in reverse, you get this roughly zero thrust setting, uh, which we use to start the engine being fuel injected. If you got a lot of river current or if you got a lot of wind, it's nice to be able to start the engine in a fuel injected engine, especially if it's hot and get it going and not have any thrust while you're still tied up to the dock. Yeah, for sure. Hi, Terry. Hey. I wanted to ask you, what's your opinion of the reversible empty propeller on this airplane? It's uh, the, uh, unique. The reversible propeller is fantastic for float ops right now. It, uh, in fact, you can come out here and see it. Right here, I'll show you this. And as part of my pre-flight, I'm gonna check this, but on the last shutdown, the propeller was shut down 
holding it in reverse as it shut down. So basically it's shut down in flat pitch right now. Yeah. So when I start it, it will be zero thrust. So what I'm gonna do, what this allows me to do is start the engine at the dock with the airplane still tied down. Oh, nice, okay. Which is really nice because I can get all my passengers loaded. I can get in the seat, I can start the engine. I can make sure that it's running. I can make sure it's warmed up if I need to warm it up. And then when I'm ready to go, I untie it, push off the dock, and I know that the airplane is already running. Sometimes with an injected engine, you know, you have to crank it a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm great. I'm not drifting into really expensive airplanes, so I'm hoping my engine starts. Okay, That's great. Helpful. Yeah. Great. So I here we are with Andy. He's one of the owner of the 185. What can you tell us that is so special about this airplane? Well, there's a lot of great things about the airplane in general, but the prop specifically, I think the main the, the main benefits of it lightweight. Uh, it's much lighter than a standard seaplane prop, which allows you to carry less ballast in the tail, which we actually have none, so it increases the useful load of the airplane. We're actually running on floats of a useful load of 1,080 pounds, and on wheels, the useful load's 1,410 pounds, which is... Obviously, I live in a residential area here, and the one big difference with this propeller spe specifically is that it's quiet. So anyone knows a 185 with a float prop on it, is a loud prop yes. and it makes a big difference if you live in a residential area to be friendly to your neighbors okay that's and great we, we exactly will that. we'll listen to it soon yeah okay. sounds good great thank you without some help team would not have been able to make this project happen here are his work two quick shout outs one to tim at tim's aircraft and the great folks at mcfarland aviation we have their STC tail parts, the QMI hockey stick AD kit, stainless steel jack screw kit, new engine controls including their neat veneer assist throttle, and of course the incomparable MT prop. All from McFarland. Great people, great products, fantastic customer service. Can't beat them. It has been a great experience to fly this Cessna 185 floats. I realize float flying is a lot of fun. I want to pursue my endorsement now because it's something I want to learn. It would be, be very fun, especially in the Seattle area with all the lakes and the Puget Sound. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to support Backcountry 182, please very easy to join, join me on Patreon. To be a patron of Thanks for watching. 182, go to the uh, YouTube channel on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching and it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support.